welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a phone app on Sketchware. I already created one, but we're going to be creating a new one, so let's do this. We're down super. Alright, application name. As you can see, my fidget spinner keyboard. It's amazing. I got it from Emoji. If you excuse my friend's Maru. Okay, so phone. The first thing you wanna, you're gonna wanna do is get a line here, and don't do anything to it. And put a text view. Property. And go all the way down to text size, and then put it to 25 and save. Then go back. After that, you want to get, you're going to want to get four, four more line ears. Three. Those line ears, you're going to want to, you're going to want to put. Happy. Center horizontal and center vertical. So just keep on doing that. I'm not even sure I have four. Okay, gravity, center, horizontal, center, vertical. Some of you may be wondering why I have my screen like this. It's because if I turn the screen up, like the regular way, then the video would just be really blurry. All blurry. I don't want no one to watch a video that's just blurry. Okay, so after you do that, you put three buttons inside all of those. So just three buttons. And I'll show you what to do on from there. Wait, button five, button four. Accidentally switched them up. Alright. Button six, button seven, button eight, button nine. And when you get to the last row, this is button ten. That is button 11. Okay, I just did the correct thing. All right. So, in order for this app to look better, you're gonna wanna, you see how button 10, you see button 10 and button 11? Switch them up. Switch them both up. So button 10 goes in the middle, button 11 goes in the front. All right, so just switch them up. Just like that. And then after that, click on the button, your first button, and then name it one. Then name all the other ones a number. So the second button is going to be named two. Oops. My bad. All right. The, the third button is going to be three. And then you just keep on forward. And then when you get to the last row, just stop and wait for the video. All right, so four. Nobody wanna see me keep on doing this. I'm pausing it. Okay, I'm back and I finally finished doing it. So one, button one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so, for the last row, you're going to want to name this button. It's not going to be a number. It's going to be a hashtag. And then this button is going to be named zero. Then this button is going to be named a star that little symbol and so after that you're going to get another button and edit properties the layout with make it match parent and then name the button call this is what I do for a little design I make the background color for the call button green because calling is green get it no, that's not a joke. Alright. 
And so get another button and put it right where your text view is. And name that button Backspace. You're going to need the Backspace. You're going to need it. So Backspace. And now we finished with the design part. So now we just need to get to the coding. Alright, so in your coding, you see the component section. Add a intent and name it anything you want. But I'm just going to name it call. And then, go on activity create. Go to view and get set text. Press it and put text view one, set text nothing. And when button one clicked, you see the variable? Add a variable and name it backspace. Now, get a set text button. Test set text. Join. Text view one, get text. And one. And you're going to want to copy that because you just want to do it all over again. And then go to variables. Get the set. Backspace. To, I don't know what just happened. Set backspace to. One. All right, and then you just do the same thing, but ex but don't do the set backspace. So you just paste that, and then you change the one to a two, and then you do the same thing all over for every single one. Put a number or hashtag or star. I'll be right back while I have to do when the hashtag and star comes up. So I finished all the buttons and when you get to blend button 10 clicked, click on it, paste, and put zero. Don't put hashtag. Put a zero. And then for but button 11 and 12, for button 11, put a hashtag symbol. And for button 12, put a star symbol. Now we're done coding with the button, but not yet. When button 13 click, that's the calling button, you're going to get intent, set action, Intent, call, set action, action, call, get an intent, set data, click on the set data, and click on it, and put tell with that symbol. Press done, press done, and press save. And then you want to get start activity call or whatever your name is whatever the name that you put for the intent and then when button 14 click which is the backspace you're gonna need a lot of time skills you're gonna want to go to control and get the if then else button then you're going you're gonna want to get this thing with the symbol and then you're gonna want to get length of go to view get text text you get text and put the number one then else just skip the then part text you on set text get the substring get text text view one I'm gonna read the length of and the minus so when you've done that put substring zero and get this symbol with the minus and get a put a length of inside there 
All right. And in the length of, you're going to want to put a get text. Text view on get text. Minus one. And so now you're finished. So I'm going to put the background colors for the lines because I don't like it just plain white. I, I, will, wrap, I will manage you to put a 12. I'm at a teal. Yeah, I would. I would recommend you to put the background as teal. Good color, good color. Even though my favorite color is blue, it used to be green. See, I don't know what to choose. I don't know what my favorite color should be. It's messing with my head right now. I wrong. I either want blue or green. Oh my God! The cat that my brother saved is here. Oh yeah, we got to keep the cat, and it got his shots. Oh, it's right where I am right now. Hi. Hi, Ginger. We just found out that it was a boy. Two. All right back to the calling app. Press run, and then wait for it. Yeah, wait for it. Direct phone call, direct call phone numbers. This may cost you money. I don't care. If you didn't know, the tablet that I'm recording on is an Amazon Fire tablet. Amazon Kindle Fire version 5.1.0.5 or something. I don't know. And the app that I'm using to record, as you can see, is Mobile And when the thing is done, Oops, all right, that part may not seem blurry, my bad. Um, I'm gonna, I said to record it. So I'm gonna keep it like this. Oh my God, I love you, cat. I love you, Ginger, thank you. You're the best cat in the world. We also love Brandon too, right guys? Say so you love Brandon. Right, Ginger? Right, Ginger, you like to play with Brandon? Right, Ginger? You're so cute. Mwah. All right, phone. It's installing. Oh my God, the cat! Oh my God! Oh, I thought it was gonna sleep on me. That would be so adorable, just like Brandon does. <laughs> ah, adorable little kittens, am I right? Ah, so we're waiting for the phone to be installed, and it's installed. And they're going to be like this now, not, not portrait. And so you can see that this app works. If it doesn't, well, then something's wrong with my coding. So I'm going to be doing all things. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hashtag 0. Boom. And then when you press call. It's your default calling app. And that's how you create a phone app on Sketchware. Thank you for watching and peace out. And Stay tuned for another video.